everyone, Ernest from Viggle Tips here. And with the new wet paint launch this morning, April 29th, 2015, I wanted to go over a couple of things with you. So this is what wet paint looks like. This is version 3.0 of their site now. It's laid out quite differently. And a lot of you are asking about logins and a lot of you are asking, where are the videos? Well, I'm gonna show you both. Okay, so first, obviously this is where you're going to log in. Now, if you don't see this area up here, you could have software on your computer that is an ad blocking type program. You need to make sure you allow wet paint to show ads. That's how this is going to show up. Logging in, two different ways. You can still use your Facebook connection as you did before. If you click login, you can go right here with your Facebook, click that, and you're in. However, for those of you that have never had Facebook, refuse to get on Facebook, but now want to get on wet paint, it's just as easy for you now. Right here, use your Viggle email, the same email that is in your Viggle account, and your Viggle password. Click login, and you're in. It's that easy. Now here's a quick note. For those of you that initially signed up for Viggle and used your Facebook connection to do so, you don't have an actual Viggle credential login. However, pretty soon you'll be able to use your Facebook email to do a password reset. That will walk you through the process and allow you to create a password for your Viggle account so you can use this login using email and skip the Facebook connection. You can contact support at Viggle.com and ask them to do this. It might take a few days, so for now, um, even if you submit the email, connect with your Facebook until that works out. So either way, you're logging in, do so. We're going to log in right now. Okay, so we're in. Now you'll notice up here that your user icon is going to change. We have seen everybody's icon except our own on occasion. I think this is just because of the relaunch of the website and you know you're going to get a few different user icons this happened before actually one time in the app when there was a big update and it eventually irons itself out so don't overthink it don't worry about it it's not a big deal if you click on this you can edit you can shop viggle.com the viggle store or you can edit your profile now under edit profile is basically your name your address uh, your birth date and your password. Just really simple stuff. Same thing you can change within the app as well. So the big question, where are the videos? <laughs> well, there are a few places and I'll show you right here on the main screen. You can already watch a video on the transformation alert. Okay, so that was a new video. And as you see, after we've watched it, you'll get a pop-up right here instead of in the main area that says, hey, you've earned 50 points. That's the first video, that's right on the main page. But where do you normally find videos? So right here is a menu icon for those that don't know. This is kind of the universal symbol for menu. You'll actually see this on a lot of other sites and blogs. You'll also see it in the app in the upper left corner. Uh, you can get back to the home screen that way. You can get back to uh, a few other screens, although the home screen in the app is really your good landing place to start from for anything. But click this. There's all kinds of articles in here, but we're going to go to Justin Timberlake because why wouldn't you? So here's the Justin Timberlake page with different articles and such. Now, uh, there's some 50-point ads in here, but what we're going to do is actually go down here to this one about Jessica Beale. This is the actual videos page. And this video is only 29 seconds long. Now, if you want to stay on this page, let this video play through, and then just hit refresh to watch it again, you can do so. Here's your refresh button right here. On a PC, you can also hit Control R. On a Mac, you would hit Command R to refresh this page. Or you can just put your cursor up here and hit Enter, and it'll refresh the page. So we're done with this page. I've earned 50 points, Our, my point total will go up. Um, and then since my cursor is up here in the URL, I can just hit enter again and it'll play it again. And I'll get 50 points again. So that's basically the long and the short of finding videos. Use the menu, go to any particular area and find some videos. But like I said, if you find a good page that's that's got a really short video like this 29 second video, stay on it. Refresh it a few times, get those points. 
See, again, talking about the user icon, this is obviously somebody else's user icon. It's not mine. And when I refresh again, it'll probably be somebody else's. Oh, it's actually ours this time. Well, there you go. You want to make sure you allow wet paint on your ad blocking program because in this area right here, see this Chico's ad? On different video pages, and it's going to be random really uh, because ads are usually kind of random in certain ways, especially with Viggle. There have been some 250 point ads. The ones that were showing up last night were for Dracula Untold, but they could be for anything down the line, obviously. So once your regular 50 point video finishes, engage that ad, click it, watch the whole video when it's done. If you can refresh the page and watch it again and get another 250, nothing's stopping you. That's basically the long and short of wet paint. Wet paint looks a little different, but the videos are all still there. There's an older video that we go to that is a little bit shorter um, that we tend to refresh from time to time to get some points. It is still on there as well. Any old wet paint URL that you had will still work. The page itself will just look a little bit different. That's pretty much the long and the short of wet paint, the new 3.0 site. Enjoy. If you ever have any questions, you can find us on Twitter at ViggleTips or on our main site at ViggleTips.com. If you have a question, go to ViggleTips.com slash ask. Drop us a question in there and we are happy to answer it for you. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you would. Click subscribe, tell your friends about it. We'll be adding more, especially with the new 2.0 update on the app for iOS and for Android. We're going to be covering some things on there soon, so you don't want to miss that. Until next time, keep calm and fig along.